Hello, and welcome back to Follow. In our last episode, we explored Arch Canyon in the Bears Ears National Monument. I will leave a link to that video in the description below. This continuation video features our investigation of the old highway route up and over Comb Ridge. Prior to the construction of the current highway path, which cuts through the ridge, this was the direction travelers would traverse to access this portion of southeastern Utah, known simply as the Utah Strip. The original road swung north around the formidable Comb Ridge, hugging the southern base of the Abajo Mountains and followed the high ground to the actual Bears Ears near the Natural Bridges National Monument. At its dedication in 1946, this new graded road was deemed far too slow to attract much commerce or tourism, thus causing the then governor, Hubert Ma, to announce southeastern Utah needs a better road. The first upgrade came in the early 1950s when the Atomic Energy Commission paid to pave the stretch of road from Blanding, Utah to Natural Bridges National Monument. A plan was made to abandon the old road and build a new road, utilizing a break near the summit of Comb Ridge and descend downward via a steep dugway, all built with extensive blasting of the slick rock. Beginning in 1964, in anticipation of Lake Powell, road crews built more sections. SR-95 was used until the mid-1970s, when the current cut was blasted through the monocline sandstone and became the Bicentennial Highway in 1976.
Over the years, Combe Ridge, which towers hundreds of feet above the sand wash below, has always stood as a massive obstacle for all those who tried to navigate this section of harsh terrain. In the 1880s, Mormon pioneers of the Hole in the Rock expedition encountered the ridge and elected to follow it south all the way to the San Juan River. There, they were finally able to build a path up and over to Bluff, Utah, known as San Juan Hill. This proved to be torturous on both men and the animals pulling the wagons, causing many to end their trek in Bluff in lieu of the planned final destination of Montezuma Creek, Utah. This road is passable by any high clearance four wheel drive vehicle, but our official trail rating is Cheryl stayed in the vehicle. Do keep in mind, it is no longer maintained and will continue to degrade over time. This section of the original road has long since been washed out, causing an alternate route to have been made up and around. Once on top, the roads once again become maintained. The road up the dugway is now labeled as County Road 229. This connects with County Road 240, also known as the Posies Trail.
Up here, you will be treated to the breathtaking views of the Abajo Mountains and all of the landscapes in between. After several miles, you are eventually dumped out onto County Road 228, also known as Cottonwood Canyon slash Elk Mountain. We were nearing the end of our day and almost back to pavement, so we stopped to air back up our tires. At this intersection, you rejoin Highway 95. We were all hungry, so we headed into Blanding for dinner. We hope you enjoyed this continuation episode of Follow. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe, and we will keep the adventures coming. Thanks for watching.